What's going on YouTube? Gios right here. So in today's video I have a quick update about the jailbreak on iOS 15, 14 and so on for those of you who are waiting. So if you're waiting for a jailbreak you should know that Apple has stopped signing yesterday iOS 15.1 and 15.1.1. If you navigate here on my website on iDeviceCentral.com and you select iOS signing status and of course you select your device in here for example iPhone 11 Pro you can see that it's no longer signed. The only signed version is 15.2 and the beta for 15.2 a couple of them and the 15.3 beta now that's a problem because iOS 15.1 and 15.1.1 where it applies for example for iPhone 13 and 12 those had enormous amounts of bugs as can be seen from the security content of iOS 15.2 published by Apple just a week ago so you can see here all the vulnerabilities that have been patched in 15.2 to which of course 15.1 and 15.1.1 are vulnerable many of these vulnerabilities are also kernel vulnerabilities as you can see from here from Google Project Zero or from Pango Team which would of course be very good for jailbreak purposes and one of these vulnerabilities will be released for sure by developer Brighty App in the near future which of course makes those iOS versions quite precious however Apple decided to pull the plug on them today and they're no longer signed what this means for you is that you can no longer save the blobs even if you have blob saver installed and of course you cannot transition from one version to another you can no longer downgrade now from 15.2 back to 15.1 or to 15.1.1 and you cannot upgrade either for some time. Now you might be able to upgrade in the future if you have blobs saved with the blob saver once an exploit gets released however for now you're completely locked out of it. So should you have been on iOS 15.1 or 15.1.1 if you wanted to jailbreak? The answer is no. Not necessarily. You could be on 15.0, 14.8, 14.7.1 and even 14.6. That would still be okay if you're waiting for uncovered to be updated it will probably be updated first for 14.8 14.7.1 and 14.7 because of the mount issues on 15 but once that issue is fixed 15.0 15.0.1 15.0.2 and 15.1 or 15.1.1 will also be supported thanks to that vulnerability that i talked about which will be released now there are many kernel vulnerabilities and many other vulnerabilities here in the 15.2 security content which means that the versions behind ios 15.2 which is currently signed are very vulnerable and good for jailbreak purposes now of course if you're running an older version it's best to stay right there but right now you should definitely check your device to make sure you don't have auto updates enabled because right now if your device automatically updates itself during the night it will go to 15.2 and there is no way back i'm afraid so definitely make sure you don't have auto updates enabled because 15.1 and 15.1.1 are no longer signed so yeah that's basically it definitely stay as low as possible now that the versions are no longer signed people can start releasing their vulnerabilities because they wouldn't be releasing a vulnerability for a signed version so expect exploits to be released in the near future now many people tell me well a lot of exploits but never jailbreak yes because it's not that easy to create a jailbreak from an exploit it requires a lot of work a lot of skill and a lot of testing not every single exploit is usable for a jailbreak and even if it is not every single exploit is reliable to create a jailbreak for the masses so we just need to wait for the right one. I'm gonna keep you updated here on the channel as things progress, but yeah, definitely check your device to not update overnight. Thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, until the next time, peace out.